Hey, hey guys, welcome back to Tybee Time. So I'm gonna make a quick recipe that I've actually never made before. I was looking for something online to use crescent roll dough for. I had crescent roll dough that was a, about a week away from expiring. And I found a recipe called Sopapilla Cheesecake Bars. So this is what I'm gonna try. And I put, a, it's a, a sheet of crescent roll dough in the bottom of this pan. And in this bowl, it's one brick, eight ounce brick of cream cheese softened. And I put a half a cup of sugar in and a quarter of a cup of sour cream, a teaspoon of vanilla, and I just stirred it, mixed it. In this bowl, I bought a half a cup of sugar and a tablespoon of cinnamon, and I'm gonna stir that together. Over here, I've got almost a half a cup of butter. And I'm gonna melt that in the microwave. And then I've got another thing of crescent roll dough. So this is gonna go on top of here. And then the crescent roll dough is gonna cover the top of it. The butter's gonna get melted, be poured over the top of it. And then the sugar and cinnamon's going on top of that. So that's about it. My oven is preheating at 350 degrees. Oh, I'll come back and show you. Okay, let's do this. So I'm gonna spread the cream cheese mixture over the crescent roll. The bottom sheet is actually a sheet of crescent roll. It wasn't the, the crescent roll um, with the perforations. The one that's gonna go on top is the crescent roll, the perforations. So let's get this out. Smooth this over the top. Like I said, I've never made this before. Sounds really good. I hope it comes out good. You guys will have to let me know what you think. But I have to give credit to Laura in the kitchen because that's the recipe I'm actually kind of going by. So I'm sure you guys have already seen Laura in the kitchen. She's very popular on YouTube. Okay, so I'm gonna spread this around. Now, if you were to use a bigger pan, you'd need more cream cheese. <laughs> Sorry, but I'm actually not sure how big this pan is. I know it's not a nine by 13, it's much smaller. It's not an eight by eight. Uh, I don't know, it's false craft. And like I said, I don't know, this looks like a, like a 10 by seven if that's what they make. But let me just level this out. Wow, that tastes really good. I will put the recipe in the description box. Sorry, I'm making a lot of noise. It's terrible, isn't it? I know it's terrible. Okay. Now, I'm gonna get the crescent roll dough open. I'm gonna come back after I open this. Okay, here's my crescent roll dough. It's really sticky. <laughs> so let me see if I can do this. Oh my goodness. This is gonna be a mess. See, it's already, it's falling apart. I'm gonna do the best I can. You can never do any more than the best you can in anything in life, right? Just do the best that you can. Okay? Remember that, just do the best you can. All right, see, I did the best I could, that's not bad. See if I can pinch that together a little bit. Tuck it in a little bit. Doesn't have to be super pretty. It's just me and all of you. But let me 
me see if I can pinch some of this together. Just remember that, calm yourself down, and just do the best that you can. You can never ask for anything more than doing the best that you can, okay? Okay, I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna wash my hands. Okay guys, I'm back, washed my hands. Mixed up my sugar and my cinnamon. Now I'm going to sprinkle this all over the top. I'm going to do it with my fingers, with my hands, whatever. Okay. And, oh, I've got the butter melting in the microwave right now. You know, I don't think it's a, a whole half a butter, or excuse me, I don't think it's a whole half a cup of butter. It's close to a half a cup, but it isn't a whole half a cup. And this seems like a lot of sugar too, but you know what, this pan I'm using is smaller than the one that I saw on mine. So I'll just, I will just adjust. I will just adjust. Sounds good to me. Okay. That looks like plenty of cinnamon sugar to me. How about you? Okay, I'm gonna get the butter out of the microwave. Stir it up a bit. Yeah, just about a half a cup. And I'm just gonna drizzle this all over the top. Slowly. I want to dump it. I want to get it everywhere. Equally distributed all over. Okay. And like I said, I've never made this before. And I'm very excited to see how it comes out. Okay. So my oven is all preheated at 350 degrees. And it should be in the oven for at least 35, if not 40 minutes. Okay. I'll be back. Okay, guys. <whistles> Evidently, she's done. <laughs> if for no other reason than the smell, you should make this. Oh, my God. My house smells. Amazing, look at this. Okay, and that was just 35 minutes. I didn't even go to 40 minutes. I thought I might have to turn the oven off. Oh, all right, she's beautiful. Now, she's gotta rest. We gotta let this cool down a bit. Oh my God, look at that. I'm gonna let it cool and uh, ah, I'll be back. Ah, I wanna eat it right now, I'll be back. Okay guys, I've been letting this cool for about a half an hour and this is what it looks like and it still smells so good, but I'm gonna let it rest for a little while longer. Okay guys, I think this is cooled down enough. Let's slice it up. It feels like it's cooled enough. It doesn't feel mushy. All right, let me leave it like that for now. And I'm going to, <clears throat> I got a plate that I sliced up a strawberry on. Okay, let me see if I can get. I don't know, should we go into the middle? Let's see. I know this is hard. I'm trying to do this with one hand. <gasps> Look at that. Okay, let's do two. You know what? It's cold enough. That looks beautiful. Okay, I'm going to take this upstairs and give it to my landlord. 
Oh my gosh, you guys, that's beautiful. Look at that on the edges. That's, it's just solidified enough. Oh my God. Okay. Thanks for watching.